All right, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising. General weekly tarot reading March 9th to uh, March 15, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested into a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So the first uh, card which represents the topic and the theme of your week, uh, Sagittarius, is going to be the King of Swords. Uh, moving next here, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That is to be the Seven of Swords. Um, doesn't look good at all. Moving next, we do have the Challenges. Uh, that will be the Eight of Cups here. And then we have the Gifts and the Blessings. Crossing my fingers for this one. Uh, that will be the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. Uh, that will be the Two of Wands. And the last one, which stands as the guidance that Saru is offering, uh, that will be the Five of Pentacles. So, uh, well, what we do have here is that... Uh, <clears throat> Someone that you do know is going to show their true nature and how not exactly dishonest, but how do you say to a person who did everything for their own benefits? Okay, so that kind of a nature is what they are going to show. Now, depending on how much you have let that person in into your life will define how disappointed you are going to find yourself after you realize that actually that one, which is the King of Swords here, does not give a damn about your well-being, doesn't give a damn about your business, doesn't give a damn about your relationship. Everything that they give a damn about it is themselves and their own personal agendas, endeavors, uh, and in generally well-being. And uh, the King of Swords is willing to sacrifice everything and everybody for that they reach their goal. No exceptions whatsoever. But I would say that they would sell even their own mother if that's necessary for them to accomplish their goal. And that comes from the energy. So we do have the Seven of Swords, which is feeding the, energy, uh, the topic of the King of Swords, which speaks only about how big self-righteousness that person possess that they think that they have the right okay they have the right to to do stuff without even giving them an explanation and they are also a uh, with a warmongry attitude willing to fight with teeth and nails if they have to for whatever goal they are after and for one or another reason you are sitting on the path on their path for that goal itself now god forbids guys that for example that is a third party that wants your wife or a husband that is a third party who wants your position a job because um it looks like that uh, they're gonna play dirty i mean for them with uh, the seven of swords here uh everything uh, validates the results and i mean literally everything so you have to be very very careful how you tackle with uh with this one because these people they they are scary to be honest i mean they 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 are capable of anything especially with the energies of the seven of swords once again because they think that they do have the right or in other words, they can do things because they can. They they do things because they can, and they don't need any other uh, reason to do stuff as well. Because if they can do it, then they have the right to do it. Uh, that being said, uh, these people they are very clever, okay, and usually they think few steps ahead, like few moves ahead, and whatever is kind of like swirling in their mind they are capable to transform it into a very very powerful well, effective not powerful but effective actions not powerful but effective so uh, usually uh, with uh, their uh, their actions you do understand what they are doing when it's almost too late but that doesn't mean that you don't know which that person is and uh, everything that you gotta do here uh, in order to avoid clash with the King of Swords, because believe me, you don't want that clash. 
because even if you prevail on it it will be way more cost more costly than if you just ignore the issue or just step aside and let them have what they want uh, so <clears throat> this is all that you have to do just move aside from their path but once again that may not be always the case because of course if that person wants your wife for example of course you're not gonna just give it to them or wants your house or wants your position at work but if that person wants to kind of settle scores with someone you know there is no reason for you to to stay in between them that, that's just for example okay or if you are fighting for the same deal and you have an option for another deal that does not involve this one maybe it will be more wiser of your behalf to just let them have this one and you just go for the other one I just they, these kind of uh, situations will be ideal for you throughout that week but i just want to tell you here sagittarius that you do have a fearsome enemy and it's not really an enemy it's just someone who is very warmongry that you are just standing on their path for the king of swords there is nothing personal at all they only concern themselves with results and they're gonna get them one way or the other like said even if they have to sell their own mother it's as simple as that with them uh so that moves us to the next one which is the challenge here and that would like you have so little to overcome here already but still eight of cups challenge wise it doesn't tell anything else but that even if you have to let go of something you know that it is not the end of the world or you have to abandon a certain goal or idea just so you don't stand on the path of the king of swords that isn't the end of the world and the card promises a much greater things to happen to you if you kind of like uh resign about the current situation and about the current enterprise and just move on it's that will be the challenge for you to recognize when a battle does not worth it and you just move on from it and that's that because um, in these cases the eight of cups it kind of like uh, suggests that at the start when you say okay i'll let you have it you know uh it kind of implants a um, very deep feeling of discontent but soon after a an unexpected good fortune happens that i mean to you and it will make that discontent to disappear and truth be told at that point when that unexpected good fortune happens uh, you are going to be grateful that you actually that you did not involve yourself in a battle that it would have been a, a carnage in general I mean, and i mean literally a um eventful carnage in a sense of that not physical one but it just is going to be a messy thing to to tackle it because once again this one plays dirty because he can do it or she in in fact so uh moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings here of the um <clears throat> excuse me six of pentacles and that card kind of points that ultimately at the end of the day uh, at the end of the day everybody is going to be placed on their uh on their station wherever they belongs to uh that that's uh it is directed to you sagittarius meaning that if you are meant to have that thing that you are giving away right now so you don't face confrontation with the king of swords which i forgot to mention that he also i mean he because it's a, a king but it could be a woman i have a, a very powerful connections okay something that's probably you cannot match at all and only by their by their connections they can have what they want so it's uh, it almost makes the resistance futile but as a gift and the blessings uh, that card points that you cannot avoid your fate meaning that even if you have to let go of uh, your wish right now or whatever you are after that thing will be offered to you once more here because that is the uh, the nature of the six of pentacles the hierarchy the little brother of the hierophant card okay and uh, one way or the other the poor will stay poor and the rich will stay rich meaning that if you are meant to be rich you will be rich for the either abundant in uh, emotions or abundant in money um, and um, it doesn't have to be however necessarily with that opportunity that the cost for it is going to be such a, a big one but you have to be a wise one and know when to step out so you can face a 
better opportunity or if you will walk away to live and fight another day it's as simple as that with uh, with those cards uh, moving next uh, it is the impression that you leave into the people around here with the, the two of wands well in that particular case uh, people are going to see you in two ways uh, or I think that that will be like a, a community impression that they're going to have. First of all, they're going to see you quite um, determined to unfold, but not necessarily in one thing, because whatever decision or an actions you are to make throughout the week, most likely to avoid any confrontation with the King of Swords, they are to be supported with very strong concepts and as well arguments and determinations as well. So pretty much instead of trying to break the wall with a head, you are going to find a way to jump through the wall, painlessly that is. Not necessarily once again by a uh, tackling forces with this fearsome enemy that you do have. So uh, as a conclusion here, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around, it is that you are a peaceful person and that you prefer to be the smart one and walk away so you can find your happiness elsewhere or with a, um, not in another place, but in a different version, instead of um, kind of like clashing with a, a person that simply is not going to back off. They're, they're not going to back off, giving the energy and the situation itself, which is the King of Swords. So the wise move here, once again, guys, is to try to find a, another way to fulfill your wish and fulfill your yearning, which the Two of Wands here points that there is such a, a way. I mean, another way to do it, much more smarter and much more painless, excuse me, for you. And uh, the last one, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering. We do have the Five of Pentacles. So as a guidance, the card tells us only one thing here, really. And it points that your mental strength is going to be very amplified, meaning that your mind is going to be extremely sharp, recognizing where the problems can come from and taking a precautionary measures, those problems to be avoided, not just solved, but also avoided. And another thing, it is that you need to know that you are not the only quote-unquote enemy to the King of Swords. And in case you decide to take on the battle, there is another people that wants to see this one down. And you can definitely make alliance that will help you ultimately win the battle that, according to the cards, does not worth um, involving in. But once again, if it is something there to your heart that this person is after, you as much does not have much of a choice, do you? So you have to jump into it. I mean, into this war, so-called. But once again, you doesn't have to be alone in it. But there are people who hate him or hate her as well. And you can definitely make an alliance and bring him or her down that way around. So that being said, Sagittarius, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. I beg you, just be careful, okay? Just be careful with this one because that is someone uh, which is a force to be reckoned with, seriously. And uh, uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, once again, uh, looking into the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can select a uh, version of a reading of your choice and as soon as the purchase goes through i will con contact you within 24 hours uh, to give you details how the reading is going to take place hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then bye